With Apple HomeKit, you can automate your entire day. No more searching through apps or juggling different devices. It's all right at your fingertips and the tip of your tongue. By the end of this video, you'll know exactly where to start using Apple HomeKit and Siri in your daily routines to maximize efficiency, keep your house running smoothly, enjoy your off time more, and keep your castle secure. I used to write everything down on paper, in my notes app, literally anywhere and everywhere. Then one day I was at my friend's house and she casually asked her home assistant to handle a small task and man, I was hooked. The drive home felt like an eternity. All I could think about was how outdated my routine had been for who knows how long. Man, I'm not even gonna hold you. I was pressed and stressed. After just enough research to get well and confused, three years trial and error and plenty of updates from Apple, I've finally nailed down a hands-free routine that touches every aspect of the day. From super practical life hacks like never running out of milk again, to workflow routines designed to keep you focused when it's time to be focused, security, atmosphere, so many things. So if you wanna run your life efficiently and feel like the main character of an episode of Black Mirror on the daily, I literally made this video for you. Let's go. Starting in the home at the beginning of your day, you're waking up, you're jonesing for your hot coffee or tea. With a smart plug and your iPhone, you can literally have Siri brew your morning drink before you even get out of bed in the morning. Works with iPhone, Apple Watch, Apple HomePod, and Apple TV. You'll add the smart plug to a room in your Apple Home app on your iPhone, and you'll prompt Siri using the name that you give the plug. So I suggest naming it as you see it. For example, name the smart plug Kettle and put it in your kitchen inside the Apple Home app. Then the voice command would be, hey S-word, turn on the kitchen kettle. If you wanna see a full video on smart plugs with Apple Home, I've put it up on the screen and I'll leave it in the description below. All right, so I don't know about you guys, but I love starting my weekdays off with a podcast. It's music Saturday and Sundays, but on weekdays, a podcast really helps me stay in a productive mindset without my first thoughts of the day having to revolve around my schedule or my tasks. Before I started doing this, I really felt myself becoming defeated before the day even began. Just like tired. I don't know, maybe you can relate. Integrating Apple HomeKit into this part of your day may seem unnecessary, but being able to seamlessly switch audio from room to room as you shower, get dressed, make breakfast, set up in the home office, or head out the door to work is invaluable. Now, I'm not a mathematician, so I can't tell you how much time you're gonna save not fiddling with audio pairing. All I can tell you for a fact is that when you hear something in rich, full sound versus your tinny cell phone speakers, it's gonna resonate a lot more. It sinks down into your mind and you pull more from it. As you enter a room, give your iPhone a little wiggle near your HomePod and it'll automatically pick up whatever you're listening to. If you wanna stay engaged with your music or podcast as you go about your morning and not have to micromanage any settings, then you'll definitely wanna pick up a HomePod mini or two. Now that you're fresh, clean, and fed, and your mindset is primed to take on the day, it's time to take Apple HomeKit to work. For my work from home remote workers, you absolutely need to integrate smart lighting or smart plugs with dumb lighting. Either way, you can add your lights to a scene in the Apple Home app. If you don't work from home, I've got you covered with some dope things that you can do with Apple HomeKit from outside of the house coming up. So stay tuned for that. Jumping back into home office for a second, I suggest naming your Apple Home scene whatever its purpose is. That makes the phrasing really easy to remember when you start using voice commands. And you can also add a scene widget to the home screen of your iPhone to make controlling your scenes really easy if you don't wanna rely exclusively on voice commands. This isn't just for lights either. You can add any smart device to a room and exclude any smart device from a room as well. A good exclusion for me is the studio Apple TV. In the Apple Home app, the TV does live in the studio, but when I say, hey S-word, run work from home base in the studio, the TV does not come on with the lights. Only you will know exactly how to use HomeKit to improve your workflow. So get experimental. The options are limitless, for real. Combine this with the focus function, 
turn on smart activation and your relevant apps are right at your fingertips, notifications are silenced, and you are fully dialed into work. Apple's focus function with smart activation could seriously be an entire video on its own. Actually, let me know in the comments if that's something you wanna see and I'll hook it up. Now for my in-person workers, this is gonna come in so clutch for you. Remember those smart plugs? If you use them with appliances that you often forget to turn off, well, now you can tell Siri to do so. You can also do this directly from your iPhone. Just add a scene widget to any page on your phone and simply tap to cut power to the offending appliance right from your home screen or your lock screen. We're talking hair dryers and irons, coffee makers and kettles, toaster ovens. We all have that thing that we forget to do sometimes. Well, not anymore. What's your easily forgotten morning chore? Drop it in the comments below and I'll pin the most relatable one. So you've been working all morning and it's time for lunch. This is usually a time of day that I realize I'm running out of pantry staples like milk, bread, soup, salad stuff, all the lunch things. As an afterthought, I'm having Siri add ingredients to my shopping list. Once you try this, you'll never go back to any form of written list. You can stay mobile fixing your lunch. You don't have to reach for your planner or your phone. And you can save a paper towel by not having to wash your hands for a 50th time this morning. Works on iPhone, Apple Watch, and Apple HomePod. Lunch breaks or really any hour in between Zoom meetings is a great time to have Siri run your robot vacuum cleaner if you're so fortunate as to have one. Me, I'm still kicking it old school with the corded vac, but here are my thoughts. After work chill time is a lot more peaceful without the vacuum going. And if you have pets, you already know that a weekend vacuum routine is not always enough. Why not have your home assistant take care of the daily tidying while you're fueling up for the afternoon? And don't worry about the noise. If you're HomePod connected, you can easily control the volume by scrolling the wheel on the side of your Apple Watch or from the drop-down window on your iPhone. All of this is cool, but universally, the Siri function that I use the most this time of day is voice command reminders. Client tossing you a new task midday. Hey S-word, remind me to send that email in three hours. Partner needs you to stop by the grocery on the way home. Hey S-word, remind me to stop at the store and get pork chops when I leave work. Reminders get even better when you schedule them for common occurrences. I have a weekly reminder that reminds me to bring my trash cans to the curb. I had to do the morning shuffle of shame one time and once was enough. Voice command reminders works with all of your mic'd Apple devices, even the TV remote all generations. Y'all have Amazon package thieves? I used to, a lot of people do. Maybe you're one of them. Let's get you some peace of mind when you're away from the home. There's a whole bunch of brands that make everything from contact and motion sensors to floodlights. You can rig your deck, patio, even gates with these items to create your own personal Fort Knox. Now your house may not have roll down riot doors like the Purge, but you'll know as soon as a single acorn is disturbed if you wanna go that far. The best place to start with security on a budget is your front doorbell. Not a lot of cameras come fully integrated for Apple Home yet, but this Acara G4 video doorbell is awesome. It pairs easily, and you can monitor the feed from any Apple device with a screen, even your watch. You'll get alerts across all of your Apple devices, and you can easily change the G4 settings to recognize faces and announce who's at the door. Or, you know, if that freaks you out, disable face recognition completely. The coolest thing about Acara's video doorbell is that it's renter friendly. It can be hardwired, but it can also run on batteries and it can be installed without screws, which is next level versatility. If your first thought is, well, if it's not screwed in, it's gonna get stolen. Acara's got you covered with a 95 decibel siren that will sound if it senses any tampering. And I'll tell you from experience that you definitely want to disable that feature when you're changing out the batteries. Now I do wish that the unit came with a single rechargeable battery as opposed to requiring double A's, but you can get rechargeable double A batteries as a workaround. 
Just make sure you get enough milliamp hours to keep that doorbell juiced because you do not want to underpower it. While we're on the topic of renting and security, the biggest adjustment for me from moving from an apartment into a standalone home was no freaking peephole, man. I missed the peephole. Am I crazy? Open the door before I know who it is in these trying times? Absolutely not. So if someone rings my bell and I don't know who it is, the first thing I'm doing is pulling them up on my TV. If they don't ring, I'm not expecting any packages and the video doorbell's motion sensor sends me an alert, what do you think I'm doing? Yes, straight to the TV. Actually, here's the doorbell security footage of that exact scenario playing out shortly after I moved into this place. Now I've blurred this woman's face because I don't think she meant any harm. My theory is she was looking for the woman who used to live here. But you guys, this moment gave me chills. I brought her up on the TV and that's what she was looking at through the storm door. Herself on my TV. She scurried along after that. I think this setup would be a strong deterrent with a real intruder. Like, could you imagine? Arriving and departing your home with Apple HomeKit automation is like breathing. You don't have to think about it, it just happens. This isn't some woo-woo existential thought provoker. I mean, you won't be locking and unlocking your doors. You won't be fist pumping that garage door opener on your visor. You won't be turning on or off the TV, lights, or closing the blinds. You won't be adjusting the temperature of the house, and you won't be asking Siri to do those things either. Instead, you'll set an automation once in your Apple Home app, and when your assistant reads your location as leaving the house or returning onto the property, it will start triggering all of the things that you've set it to do. Do everything I just mentioned. Do a little or do a lot. This is like having a robot army of butlers to welcome you home or send you off with peace of mind. So you've put in your day. You've built what needs building, you've done what needs doing, and you've earned yourself this time to simply exist. Using all the functions that we've talked about already, this is where the scenes in your Apple Home app start getting really fun. Warm the house a degree or two for maximum comfort. Fill every room with music. Key down the lights to induce relaxation. Flip on that living room TV. Warm the toaster oven for after dinner cookies. Whatever your pleasure, you can do it all with a single voice command. Name your scene something like work's done or I'm home to induce a complete mood shift in your entire home. Finally, the day is done. You're feeling accomplished, you're super relaxed, and it's time for bed. Arguably, the most satisfying voice command of all of them is the good night scene. Actually, the functionality of this scene is so vital to smart home living that Apple locked it down, meaning you can't have it do anything other than its primary function, which is to power down your home. However, you can add any and all of your HomeKit devices into that scene. And if you change your mind, you can always remove a device from your good night scene. Great exclusions from the good night scene are your bedroom TV and your bathroom nightlight, if you have those. I also keep a nightlight on for the dog because he's a sweet old man and he's taken to sleeping in his living room bed. I don't want him stubbing a paw on his way to the water bowl in the middle of the night. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, so what do you think? Where are you most excited to start using Apple HomeKit? Tell me in the comments below. And if I gave you some idea of how to go hands-free at home, make your day run a little bit smoother, drop this video a sweet little thumbs up and help me get this baby channel cruising. Next week, we're talking AI at home. So if that sounds interesting to you, subscribe to the channel and I'll be seeing you later.